Hello Sagittarius, this is Soul. And Sagittarius, this is going to be your general forecast uh, for the week of January 23rd through the 29th, 2017. And I think, <laughs> as I'm thinking of it, I think I said 2016 in the other videos. I have to check. All right. But anyway, 2017. All right. The messages will also be for Sagittarian uh, moon and Sagittarian rising. Okay, so let's get right into your messages. I don't know what made me think about 2017, 2016. Sagittarius, you have um, the energy of the devil, major arcana, major life event. So now, a couple messages coming in. Uh, number one, off the bat, since it's showing up in the reverse, that means that there are, uh, for some of you that I'm reading for, you have released any restrictions, boundaries, you know, shackles from your feet, not physical shackles, but you know what I mean? Feeling like you're restricted. For those that I'm reading for, that's good energy. OK, no longer feeling restricted or bound to a situation. Another person, this could be ending a, an addiction to a person in the physical sense. Uh, coming to grasp with um, any um, substance abuse, you know, alcohol, drugs. Endings from the past now. This could be ending of ruminating thoughts, repetitive thought patterns, the things that you think about over and over and over and over again, and you can't seem to shake it. That's what I'm talking about. That's part of the devil's energy. And then no longer feeling caged, bound or restricted to a person or a situation for others this upcoming week. That's the past energy. Uh, because it is showing up in the reverse for your overall energy. Some of you are still reluctant to release any possible addictions to another person, possible substance abuse. Um, and actually, okay, wait a minute now. Because that devil is coming in here with another message here related to someone's. Ad OK, it's an addiction, but it's related to someone who is. Um, can't shake. From a person who is possibly incarcerated, someone who's serving time in prison, jail. OK, that's what I'm getting. Because I get that closed in, caged in feeling. That's the jail. And then, of course, the uh, picture here is of a person who's in like a cage. So that could be represent bars, prisons. But it could be that person's energy no this is sad someone Sagittarius knows someone's in jail serving time and they feel closed in but their energy is in connection with your energy it could be that you know you're addicted to this person's energy or you can't seem to shake someone I'm reading for cannot seem to shake the energy of uh, and this could be a lover. This could be a you know a family member. This could be a friend or whatever. But shake that association or disconnect that association from someone that I am picking up that's uh, serving time in jail or prison. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time in that because I'm being drawn into a lot of things that, for time purposes, I don't want to get into. All right, so overcoming and then the reluctance of having to um, address any addictions that you may have substance abuse relationships uh it could be you know shopping it could be ruminating thought patterns okay it also it means everything that i said that occurred for those in the past because it shows up in the reverse here all right someone holding on to all of that stuff and not addressing those issues 
Okay, next card up, Sagittarius, is the Seven of Swords. All right, so this Seven of Swords shows up as bringing in some sort of, maybe this is why the Seven of Swords is showing up next to that Devil card because it's creating conflict and stress. That's the one message that I'm getting. But I normally get the, you know, things being taken away from you uh, in the material sense. So it also could be that uh, no one physically has taken anything material from you. It could be that you misplaced or lost something. Uh, but this card shows up in the upright to say that uh, whatever it was that was taken from you, whether it was from an actual person or, you know, picked up by accident by another person or you lost something of importance um, material wise. This is a week of it possibly showing up or being returned to you. OK, um, I never see the seven of swords as um others may see it in terms when it comes to a relationship no one can take a relationship from you all right so um then the middle of the week whatever it is um it could be that even though there's a struggle with some addictions this is the uh, six of wands so this is victory and success so some of you may um tackle those addictions and then you become victorious this is also, for me, a card of uh, travel. But this is so much energy here, positive energy. And of course, you know the wands represent your energy, Sagittarius. So this is a week for some of you feeling victorious. Um, this could be new enterprises. This could be new um, you know, developments in terms of relationships. It may be just you being uh, you and feeling you know, like in, you're empowered um and a force to be reckoned with now even though this is not the strength card i'm still pulling in that energy to say that for you sagittarius you just feeling victorious okay nothing can stand in your way or stop you from moving forward a lot of victory and success here all right so whatever the message that i'm saying and you have to apply it to whatever your situation is all right victory and success something being returned and the last card friday going into the weekend you couldn't end in a more positive note here. We got the King of Cups in the upright position. So the King of Cups could also be for female energies. But this is what I feel after going through a very successful week. This is your emotions here. Feeling good emotionally about it could be directly related to the events that unfold for you for the week, but it could be that um, the king representing, you know, it's the court card. It could be an actual person coming in, someone new. Um, this could be a friend. This could be, this is older male though, or older male, older female. Uh, when it's uh, a connection to be made when, you know, with love, dating. This person has a good heart, full of love, and they want the same thing that is mutual. Okay, outside any of the, you know, any relationship aspects, this could be a new friend coming in, an older person coming in to be friendly or befriend you. Or outside of the other messages, it could be just you feeling good emotionally about some sort of achievement, success, victory with the six of wands in the upright uh, position. All right. So actually, I feel outside of the devil showing up uh, is a pretty good reading. Um, so I was able to draw out some positive aspects of that devil. Uh, nonetheless, so I hope this reading is beneficial and helpful to you, uh, Sagittarius. Um, with that being said, this is your reading. So um, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Sending out a lot of love and light energy your way. And I do hope it is a very successful week for you. Whatever that means. Either success in uh, a new relationship or it could be. And don't get me wrong because I'm not just reading for singles. This could involve some Sagittarians who may be in relationships with water signs possibly but it could be with any zodiac sign and this is how you feel regarding that relationship feeling good emotionally okay 
and then also to the king represents intuition so it could be that your intuition is helpful for you uh, this upcoming week that you are picking and choosing the things that resonate for you and what's best for you until I talk to you again take care Sagittarius bye <laughs>